Hi everyone and welcome back to Leah's Cross Stitch Corner. So if you're new here, I am Leah and this is my little tiny corner of the internet where I can talk about all things cross stitch. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. Um, I really hope you enjoy it. So today I thought what I would do is a cross stitch magazine subscription comparison. So in the UK we have two main cross stitch magazines, Cross Stitcher and The World of Cross Stitching. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about both of the magazines and then just tell you a little bit of like what I prefer, which one's my favourite, would I say, I mean I currently do have subscriptions to both so would I keep both subscriptions in the future and just any other little tidbits that might be important to, to um, pass on. <laughs> So just a quick update actually before I get into it, um, to everybody asking, I didn't actually get that job that I applied for unfortunately, um, I interviewed for I should say, um, yeah, disappointing, not gonna lie, um, I had my interview feedback on Friday, the Friday just gone, and I talk too much apparently, is the best way to boil it down to, <laughs> so talking is one of my main aspects when I am interviewed, and apparently the interviewer didn't really like that. I should take more time to think and um, compose my answers. I mean, all you had to do was come watch my YouTube channel and you'd know how um, how much I like to talk. I don't, you know, I, I am a waffler. I tend to waffle. Um, I don't talk like a robot. I am an actual person. So never mind. I know now. Um, two people that I actually work with did get the job which again it's quite disappointing because I thought I would be really good at it and instead because I didn't interview very well I didn't get it so what are you gonna do uh never mind onwards and upwards so cross stitcher and world of cross stitching these are the two ma main magazines that are available in the UK there is some um there is some more there is um your cross stitch and embroidery is one i got that one time and i wasn't really i don't do embroidery so it was kind of wasted on me because it was like half and half um i've sometimes seen one of the american ones um just cross stitch i think and i think i bought that once but it was like way too full of charts and not enough like chatter i like kind of a nice balance between the two to be fair and i know there is cross stitch gold and cross stitch favorites those are two um seasonal ones i guess is the best best way to describe them um and i do actually have one of the cross stitch favorites here to discuss so can't say i didn't come prepared eh so i've been subscribed to cross stitcher and the world of cross stitching for pretty much since i've started cross stitching to be quite honest um graham initially got me both subscriptions one was for christmas the world of cross stitching and the cross stitcher one was for my birthday so i initially didn't plan to keep both of them on coming into this year however the cross stitcher one came out as an automatic payment so there was like no one it kind of was just like boom there you go 53.99 out your pocket <laughs> so it wasn't ideal um because i wasn't gonna keep that one on and i'll tell you why um a little bit later on but i'm glad i did actually because this is the most recent one so look at that i am obsessed with this one so I don't actually do a lot of magazine projects. I don't know if anybody else is the same. I get the magazine, I ooh and I ah, and I go, ooh, that'd be lovely to do. And then I don't do it. <laughs> I do, but I, in my defense, I have a lot of kits to do. And in my defense, I am gonna be kitting up a few ones from magazines in the in within the next year so that I can get them done. So I'm trying. You can only try, can't you? So because it's the one I've shown off, we'll start with Cross Stitcher magazine. So basically the magazines all kind of follow a similar sort of theme. They have like between 60 to 80 new projects every every issue. Um, they obviously, they come with a free gift. I don't know where this free gift is actually. I was like looking before and I was like, I'll show this free gift off because it's like, a, it's, a, it's a nail file kit. Um, I don't know where I put it. It only came the other day for God's sake. So I'll just show a different one. So like this one, for example, this was a, a greeting card. I haven't done it yet, as you can see. So they all come, they either come with a free kit or they come with like a, I've got this one here, the seashore sampler. This came from the world of cross stitching. So they come with something cross stitch related. More often than not, it is a kit. So it gives you something that you can do and you can crack onto. But sometimes it is a sampler. 
within the new year issues you usually get a calendar filled with patterns which is amazing um so they all come with a free gift the cover price for these it's five pound fifty so cross stitcher is five pound fifty and this is actually issue 400 wow this i believe let me just check hold on a minute uh ba, ba, ba. do you know what i've got a pack, stack of magazines here and i just haven't put them in the right order yeah so world of cross stitching is on issue 336 337 should be out shortly cross stitcher has just hit issue 400 which i mean that's a pretty impressive feat i'll just show you there issue 400 that's one that dropped through the door the other day um so that means it's been going for a very very long time and pretty much this one you just you get a whole bunch of patterns and stuff so you get the welcome letter from susan and martin penny they're the editors of the magazine you get the contents that just tells you what's in the magazine don't worry i won't show any patterns the first page is usually an out there i tend i mean it's it's a bit neither here nor there if you ask me personally um this one's featuring love it stitch it from caterpillar cross stitch and then on the next page ah so it's out there continue to so get some up and coming bits and bobs the amazing emma is featured here emma horan she's on she's called emma louise i believe is what her emma louise art stitch that's a that's a shop name um uh, how do i show this without showing the pattern so stitching with julian so julian this is gonna go well isn't it julian odessa writes a column every month and then provides a lovely pattern to stitch up and they do a crafty bookshelf as well on that side and then it's pretty much just filled with patterns there is a page for letters there's a page for like reader offers which i tend not to do um i'll just show you this i am obsessed it's so good i am gonna keep this one up and i'm actually gonna do it I was speaking of Graham about turning it into an actual cushion, but I don't want it to get dirty and I don't know how to do it. So you need a sewing machine, actually. <clears throat> that's why it's because I need a sewing machine and I don't have a sewing machine. I don't know how to sew, like with a machine. That, that even makes sense. I don't know how to sew. Eey. So this is their letter page. It's just one page. It's super disappointing because like the whole the whole thing i'm going to come into is the whole reason i like these magazines is i like the reader interaction i like seeing what other people are working on and for me that's where world of cross stitching does a better job personally i think they do a better letter page and everything um that's obviously a personal opinion you know maybe you don't agree that's absolutely fine um but that's kind of why i prefer the world of cross stitching over cross stitcher though they've actually smashed it with these designs this week because look at that one, man. That's Doreen Jones, and I love it. The dog one, by the way, is done by... I can't find it. Maria Diaz. Maria Diaz did that one. So, yeah, I mean, it's a bargain. They do have the letter library, which I love. So every, every issue, they do different letters that you can cut out and keep. And then you can make something up. Um... I've never actually done one. I do want to do one for our bedroom, but I haven't done one as of yet. They do interviews with people as well. I'm just trying to see what else. But a lot of it is just, it's very, it's very professional. Like, you know, even on the patterns that they include, they don't talk too much to the designer. They don't get a lot of feedback from readers. You know, the world of cross stitching, you can actually write in and be part of the reader panel and you get featured. Spoiler alert, I was in there. <laughs> I'll show you in a moment if I've got the right magazine. So for me, I like cross stitcher. I think it adds a lot. I do love this one here, but I probably wouldn't keep this one on. It's not, it's not worth the money for me. You know, it's very, soulless seems a bit harsh, but that's kind of the vibe I get from cross stitcher. It's here, it does the job, it does what it needs to do, but it's not very personable and i know you're like oh yeah it's a magazine what do you want it to do should it sing should it dance no i completely understand that but i just think it needs more reader interaction personally it needs more warmth and heart and soul give give us 
talk to the designers tell us the inspiration behind the design that they've created for the magazine tell us what readers think of it you know i just think it needs a little bit more personally and it is the more expensive of the two i'll come into pricing actually at the end because i'll just do like a comparison like a like an overview so this is the world of cross stitching this is my favorite unequivocally and you know it has more designers in that you probably wouldn't come across usually cross stitcher tends to stick to the same designers and they don't always get too many new ones in where world of cross stitching megan from maloka designs was featured and she's now featured regularly emma horan who was actually just in the cross stitcher is featured with this one here this silhouette and i love it i'm going to be getting this kitted up so i can do this one and like i say you know it just has a lot more warmth and heart so it's very much very similar letter from the editor um the i'll okay, show you the letter from the editor and then the contents what's in it <laughs> and then no i'm not going to show this one because this one hasn't got me in it so this one has meet the reader panel let me just find mine god i hope it isn't here oh no i'm not in that one either i think it's this one i'm here i'm here i knew i was here somewhere <laughs> There I am. So I applied for the reader panel literally when I first started getting the world of cross stitching. So bear in mind, this was like 18 months or so ago, maybe even two years ago. And it finally came through and I was featured in issue number 335, August 2023. So yeah, go and see me and see why I'm talking about this Emma Congdon design. It was incredible. Um, I am going to do a video on it because I thought it was quite a really interesting process. So I've got th there's like three questions here, but like they actually asked a bunch more questions and I gave a lot more depth and a lot more to it. Um, but they only included three, which was kind of disappointing because I knew the wood, I knew they weren't going to feature everything. But, you know, I got, I think I got... Da -da -da. I do speak about Graham in it, and that's what I wanted. I tried to get, um, <laughs> I, I think I covered one question where I mentioned summer. Um, I mentioned one question where I mentioned the guinea pigs. <laughs> I am just that mad, I know. Um, like the, the issue I was in, look at that. I'm going to be kitting that one up. So it's a ship in a bottle, and it's got some amazing fabric. So I'm going to stitch it up. So what makes the world of cross stitching different for me is it has like two two full two page spreads so four pages leah yeah <laughs> edition is not the strong suit and it just has a lot more to it like i mean you can imagine how many um letters they must receive on like a daily basis how many emails letters pictures so the chance of being featured is probably very very slim but at least they have two full pages four full pages my gosh honestly what a moron <laughs> and i just it has more heart like for example let me just bring one up uh, i don't know i want to show it but not so like this one here it, it shows you a little bit about the designers it's got a nice little blurb about the actual design and then on the next page the editor actually let me just see if i can scribble it that way the editor actually you know gives her thoughts on it it's it's quite cool you know, I really enjoy. I really enjoy the fact that it's a lot more personable. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll find one where I'm on. And then they've got like the ask, ask the experts, which is fab. Again, that's like a two-page design, a two-page spread, not a design. Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm just trying to find my car. My so even on. So this one here. I give my opinion on these get well cards, for example. You know, it just adds that little touch of like, oh, here's what a real person actually thinks of it. And yeah, I do, I do like it. I like that one. That was one of the ones I looked at when I got a preview of the magazine. I was like, oh my God, that is amazing. So that's another one that I'll be um getting all ready to stitch up i think because it does look fantastic i'm just gonna see who actually commented oh it's me <laughs> it was me there i am there i am <laughs> uh, 
Honestly, I apologise. I know, I'm way too excited. But yeah, like... I get a lot of good, I get such good vibes from the world of cross stitching. It's all friendly, it's all warm. And you know, I'm not trying to offend cross stitcher, not by any means. I just wish it had more, um, more to it. I wish it just was a little bit more personable, a little bit more warm. It featured readers a little bit more prominently. You know, we are the ones who buy the cross stitch magazine, you know, we buy them, we put our money into them. So it'd be really lovely if that was returned to us kind of thing. So, these obviously, my my subscription to World of Cross-Stitching comes up in December. I'll be renewing that without even thinking twice about it. My subscription to cross Stitcher comes up round, round, round about my birthday. I don't think I'll be keeping that one on, personally. I'd like to, but I'll be honest, I get a lot of kits. I get a lot of patterns from Etsy. You know, it's not really worth the money that it costs to keep it going on now granted that is an amazing one this this issue has been one of my favorites because of that but i don't know it's a lot to have two magazine subscriptions going i kind of flick through it i don't really read cross stitcher whereas i do sit and take the time to read the world of cross stitching because it does have like i say that personal touch now obviously that's just my opinion you know who cares it's my opinion you know you might have a different opinion you might prefer cross stitcher you might prefer that it isn't as reader heavy kind of thing which is absolutely fine as well so the cover price i don't think i mentioned it for that's may 2022 for the world of cross stitching is 5.99 is that recent yeah so that's 5.99 cross stitcher is five pound fifty i believe i said i did so world of cross stitching is more expensive but Bizarrely enough, if you get it on subscription, it actually works out better. So I've got it written in my, in my diary here just because I wanted to have it to, to hand. So you get 13 issues per year of both. And there's a reader offer at the moment, as of filming, three, four, six pounds for the world of cross stitching. And then it's 49 99 for the year's subscription after that. Um, cross Stitcher has an offer at the moment, three for 11 99 and then it's fifty three ninety nine per year after that. So overall, the world of cross stitching is actually cheaper overall if you get the subscription. And why wouldn't you? If you get the subscription, you actually receive the issue at least a week, within a week, um, before the issue actually goes on sale. So it like feels a little bit special. So you can like be like, ooh, ooh I get to have a look before anybody else does. Um, like I say. It's pretty reasonably priced, actually. I don't know. I should have actually done the working out of what it um, equates to. Yeah, I can't do that. I was thinking of how I could do it. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> how rude. I'm boring myself. No, I'm joking. I'm really not. I'm just tired. Um, so I don't know what it actually equates to per issue if you get the subscription, but it is, it does work out cheaper. It obviously works out cheaper. And if you take out the subscription for the first time, you do get a free gift. Um, I didn't get one, so <laughs> the World of Cross Stitching was supposed to come with a free lamp, but Graham was like, I'm not getting her that tatty lamp. I don't know what kind of lamp it actually was. So he bought me my own, which is really lovely of him. And I don't know what I got for Cross Stitching when I, I didn't sign up. That's why. I assume there wasn't a free gift for that one either. I don't remember anyway. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's Graham. Mm. Take my water bottle. Isn't it cool? It's very cute. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my opinions. I much prefer the world of cross stitching. I love the the designs. I've done more world of cross stitching designs than I have cross stitcher designs, and that kind of plays into my um reasonings as well, you know. What have I actually gone out and done of these magazines that's worth me keeping the subscription up? And I've done the bathroom sign. It's it's all over there. I've done the bathroom sign that was featured in my my finishes video, the part one or part two. I don't know which part. <laughs> I'm so organised. Um, I did that. I went out, got the. I had the fabric already, but I went out and got the threads, and I did it. Um, I don't think I've done. Sorry, there's somebody walking past and I'm just curious. 
I don't think I've actually done a cross stitch of one that I can see, apart from my little tree rex. Sorry, yeah, he that old bad boy. He was from Cross Stitcher magazine. I do love both, to be honest. Like, you know, I feel like I've probably been a little bit too harsh against the Cross Stitcher magazine, but that's just my opinion. We're all allowed an opinion. Some you might disagree. Tell me about it. Put a comment down below and tell me that I'm wrong. That's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Honestly, don't mind. Um, so I did mention cross stitch favorites so this is a seasonal one i believe cross stitch favorites and cross stitch gold both come from the world of cross stitching it's they're not edited by the same person but i've seen them advertised within the world of cross stitching which leads me to believe that they are um and it's basically just each season so this is for spring 2023 and it's just a bunch of like spring type designs i pick this up occasionally i don't always get it it's only 5.99 so it's not that bad um i did mean oh yeah it comes from our media which I'm, yeah quite well of cross stitching comes from our media as well i was gonna pick up the summer one but i haven't managed as of yet my wh smith doesn't carry it which is annoying the one in newcastle does but we haven't been going to newcastle because it's been a little bit too hot and it's a little bit of a trek so we've been going to durham instead for our little little month yeah <laughs> for our little monthly um goings out so we've been going to durham instead and the WH Smith in Durham is poor. I, I do not know what WH Smith is meant to be these days. Is it a bookshop? N not really. Does it sell magazines? Well, not really. What does it do? I don't know. <laughs> Accidental shade against WH Smith. But normally I can pick it up and I was hoping to pick it up because it looks really cute that it's summer one. I've probably passed it now. I should have probably ordered it online. Um never mind but yeah i do i do occasionally pick this one up i don't i don't know if i've picked cross stitch gold up yet um they're usually a lot more intense like the big full coverage kind of designs um whereas i just like the little simple easy designs you know what i'm like guys you know i'm a little bit i was gonna say i'm a little bit simple oh my god i don't mean that in a bad way graham will know what i mean when i say that I, like, I am, I, I do quite like the simple things in life. I do like an easy stitch. You know, I don't like to be too overly complicated. I mean, I've started ones before where I've just ended up not finishing them. I started a free bookmark kit. Um, I don't know where it is. I started it and it was overly complicated. It was like really driving me nuts. And it was only a free kit from one of the magazines. And I was just like, oh, this is getting on my wick. It had back stitching. It was intricate. It was like fiddly. Mm, not for me. Not for me, honestly. So yeah, that is my take on the cross stitch magazines. I hope you really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed filming it, so that's all that matters really. Um, as of filming this, I am actually two subscribers away from one hundred, which is insane. Thank you to everyone who's watched my videos, to everyone who's subscribed. It honestly. I thought I would start this channel and basically nobody would watch or the only person who would watch would be Graham or my family um, and instead I've found a, an amazing supportive community here and it's just the best place to be. I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm very, very grateful. Please give this a big thumbs up. It helps with like algorithms and stuff apparently. I don't really know. Please subscribe. You know, that helps towards potentially at some point monetizing the channel. I mean, that's a long, long way away. Don't get me wrong um yeah <laughs> uh thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it summer isn't here i'm afraid i'm gonna have to start getting like a cardboard stand in for the times when she's not here i'm gonna try and make it so she's here every time however i'm filming this on the sunday the sorry i'm looking at the computer the 6th of april oh my god do you know what i made it out without any any massive bloopers and graham's gonna get to this point and just die laughing so it's the 6th of August. Because I've been in training in the last two weeks, I haven't been able to film. And I like to film at least one week ahead. So I like to have my video for the next Wednesday all ready to go. And then I don't really have to worry about it if I film the next one later in the day kind of thing. I always like to get them up at 12 o'clock, see? That's my little schedule. So like 12 o'clock, Leah gets a new video. Woohoo! Um... So being in training the last two weeks means I haven't been able to actually get a video done. That's why my July one was a little bit, um, you'll see when I do the August, the, the September, August wrap up that 
I finished some stuff in July and you'd be like, why didn't you show that in July, Leah? Like, come on. But it's because I had to film me July whip parade so soon because I was in training. Um, that's why. That's why. So I'm filming this on a Sunday. It's the 6th of August, not the 6th of April. God, thank God. Honestly, I'm glad it's the 6th of August because that means it's Christmas soon. Um, I'm getting some amazing things for Christmas, FYI. The other big videos galore, don't worry. So yeah, I've rambled on for ages now. This was meant to be 20 minutes and I've accidentally gone over like to 25. Never mind. You're enjoying it, right? It's fun. <laughs> I, I fully admit I'm crazy. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please tell me what magazine subscriptions you should have, you've got. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, obviously this is UK centric, so, you know, don't take this as gospel. But I still think even... I highly doubt there's a better magazine than World of Cross Stitching. I am going to put myself out on a limb and I'm going to say the World of Cross Stitching is the best cross stitching magazine. Period. And on that note, I've got some guinea pigs to clean. <laughs> Have an absolutely wonderful week and I'll see you next Wednesday for another video. Bye. Um, I've said bye. Did I say that someone was actually out for a walk? Sum myself for a walk. I, I'm pretty sure I did. You know when you say something? I, I started a thread and then I got distracted. And then I said bye. And then I realised, did I tell them where Summer actually was? She's out for a walk. But I'm going to make sure she's in all future videos. I'm going to lock her in the bedroom. <laughs> she loves it really. And everybody loves to see her. So yeah. Yeah, sorry. I got distracted. Bye.